Okay, perfect. Now, you're going to need to have these. What do you call these? Uh, toilet paper rolls. We call them doo-doo-doo -do tubes. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo, that's how mom knew they were done. So, so that goes here like that, and then this goes here, and then this goes here. And now, what do you call these? Uh, I don't know. Oranges. Okay. All right, so uh, this goes so here's this, and then this goes here. And this is the ultimate tribute to Isaac Newton. Got it? So here's what you're going to do. In just a second, you're going to smash the tray. And when you hit the tray, it's going to cause the forward motion to hit the toilet paper rolls, knock them out of the way. The, the little uh, oranges will sit there. Gravity smacks them right into the glass. You're going to be great at this, okay? Okay. Okay, so watch. Stand over here. Mm -hmm. So um, what you're going to do is this. You're, you're right-handed, right? Yep. Oh, thank God. So here, you're like this. You're going to pull back about like this, and then you're going to hit the tray, but don't knock over the glasses. The object, don't knock over the glasses. But you're going to mm, kind of smack it. Okay. Got it? Yep. This is going to be so good. So All you're going right. to be about this far back, and then you're going to whoom, and you're going to hit it, okay? Yep. If it works, three in. Got okay. it? Okay. Drum roll, please. Three, two, one. Hit it in. And the crowd. That was awesome. Three in. I love that. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? A little nurse thing. Hey, put on your glasses. Okay. What would a melon segment be without fire? Uh, All right. So yep. here's what happens. I happen to have some fire over here, and it's sitting on a lazy Susan. So I wanted to show you what it looks like when it kind of spins. So see the spinning action that's there? Mm -hmm. That's not all that exciting. But if you could imagine this being a, a fire, unfortunately, in a forest, and there's trees all the way around, um, it gets to have this kind of vortex action. And it's hard to show you here when it's so small. So that's why we made it bigger over here. Yep. Okay? So yep. here, take a look at this. See, this is a, a cage, and I want this to represent trees. And so as the wind kind of hits it, it sends it in this circular motion. So the fire is going to be down there. But then we're going to start to spin this cage. And as we spin the cage, uh, you're going to get some momentum. And I want you to see what happens when they call it a fire vortex. Okay? All right. So let me open this up. Okay. You stand back. Okay. Right, there you go. Nice. So now here, watch what happens. It's okay. You can come here. It's That's fine. Okay. All right. So now start to, honestly, trust okay. me. Okay. You still trust me. Don't okay. you watch this. It's a slow turn. But watch. We start to get this whip. And then it's going to go a little faster and a little faster. You're going to start to see this vortex starts wow. to go. Oh, here it goes a little faster. A little faster. It really starts. See how wow. it starts to dance with this vortex that's here? So you can see how a forest fire can actually jump from tree to tree to tree all the way through. And so it's something that firefighters have to fight. And I wanted to show you what the phenomenon looks like. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's scary. Right, here we go. I know. It's, but it's, you don't do that at a party. Okay. All right. So that's, you can take your glasses all down right. here. All Let right. me show you what I think is one of the coolest demonstrations I've ever seen. Take a look. That's saying a lot. You've done some cool things here. This is very, very cool. You hear the term superconductor? Have you heard that before? No. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> Well, they, they talk about superconductors and like electricity and physics and so forth. Uh, lot, I want to talk to you about transportation. So this, for example, is a disc that has a superconductor. It's just a material that's really, really hard. It's a composite, and, and we supercool it here. This is a rail of magnets. So if you'll hang on to this, there's only one of these in the country, North Museum in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Let us borrow it for the show. It was actually made in Tel Aviv University. So this is the superconductor cooled to 320 degrees below zero. I can touch that part because it's got foam on it, but now watch what happens. Stay right there. Don't move. And there's the levitation. Would you look at that? Is that just... Wow. Now watch this. You can actually pin it in place. So it sits here like this, or I can pin it this way, or I can pin it this way, which is amazing. Imagine a rail like this. It's not a magnet. It's actually reflecting uh, the magnetism. Watch this. Imagine a rail that goes from New York to Los Angeles. They're saying that in our lifetime, we may see a rail. Look at that. It's just floating. That can go uh, from one coast to the next 45 minutes at 4,000 miles per hour. Messes up your hair, but it's totally awesome, right? So here, watch this. Look at this over here. I've got an entire rail that goes around. So now watch. You can actually feel it. It's okay to, for you to touch. Just push it in a little, a little bit feel it. Yeah. Now push it around the track. There it goes. That's very cool. Isn't it absolutely amazing? Here, watch this. As this one sits here like this. Let me push this one down, and this one's up as far as I can get it. Look at this as it spins around. Isn't that just amazing? Wow. So when it cools, it'll sit here and kind of fall down this way. But, uh, but you can kind of see what happens. So imagine a rail being able to move with no friction at all. My thought is this. Wouldn't it be fun if you could do this? And so I was thinking, if you don't mind, I know the Oscars are close, but we dip you in the superconductor. It's fine. And then get you kind of cold, and then you float. Okay, no. Okay. Um, so Steve Spangler has one more experiment that I know nothing about. What are we doing? Well, I wanted you to float. And so we made a little device that would allow you to float. Fair enough. Take a look at this. Come okay. Here. It's a hovercraft. Uh -huh. And you can make a hovercraft if you want to. Oh. Doesn't that look awesome? Yep. Come here. I'm going to help you with this. This one's yours. All right. All right so now I have to help you kind of get on it. So you're just kind of like step over. <gasps> yep. Okay. See, you're fine. Yep. Okay, good. So now, you remember we had all those leaf blowers last time? Yep. Well, I used one, and, and it hooked it up here. And so now if we blow into it like this, see how it lifts you up? Okay. So lean back. Good. It's very hard. Nice. See, that's good. Yeah. All right, good. 